My motivation to work on this project um, came as a result of the plastic waste found on our lands, especially the agricultural lands. And I realized that if we don't take these uh, plastic waste out of the environment, one day it will be difficult to, to farm and living organisms within the microorganisms within the soil will also uh, be wiped out uh, because of the release of hydrocarbons and also even the pollution of the ozone layer when these uh, plastics are, are burned into the atmosphere. Here are our raw materials. Um, you can see different kinds of raw materials, um, Baltic containers, uh, we have the sachet uh, water, different kinds, different colors, as you can see. So here is our reactor, uh, which is the third generation of the uh, reactors that are built so far. Um, the first and the second generations were a little smaller than this one. Now, with this reactor, you have the inlet. This is the inlet where uh, we feed the plastic waste uh, through. And within the reactor, we have the, um, the, the uh, feed unit. That is the, where the waste is located for the boiling process, uh, melting, uh, the boiling, and then the cracking chamber is at the top of the reactor. That is where actually the fuel is being formed. And from there, we create what we call the delivery pipe, or the exit. That is where the fuel passes out <coughs> to the collection point. So, <coughs> as you can see, I began looking at the source of plastic uh, waste. And then it motivated me that I could be able to come out with um, petroleum components out of the, the plastic waste. And the most important thing is to take the plastic waste out of the environment. I didn't even thought of probably uh, making some money out of it. But after I've been able to, to conclude certain findings and I've tested my product, the diesel, uh, gasoline, and the grease, I realized that uh, one could even uh, make money out of it while helping other people to, uh, to be engaged or be employed into uh, the project. very interesting to me, um, uh, being more or less a, a very local, uh, local innovation. The, whatever was used in making it wasn't any complicated uh, thing, very simple drum and some kind of, uh, I think maybe, um, I say maybe um, a local engineer trying to uh, bring to life what he's been he's been thinking about with uh, unsophisticated materials, more or less. Uh, so it's quite impressive to me. If this project kicks off, the we will feel um, that there will be a percentage of increment in employment that will build the socio-economic uh, growth of families. Um, we would have also felt that the plastics situation as we complain would have been of minimal or no uh, probably existence at all because 
uh, for example, if we build a 50 uh, ton plant, it will, it will mean that every day we will need 50 tons of plastic waste to go into the reactor for cracking. Now, I believe if we have such a uh, plant, uh, that is just even a single plant, the subsequent years, uh, people would have learned to send their plastic waste to a company like that instead of throwing it anywhere. It means that these plastics will no longer be found um, um, lying everywhere or littering around.